Hey everybody, welcome back to Alpha Mods. So today basically I'm going to go over this really cool but cheap device that you can buy off Amazon or eBay that allows you to interface with your um, OBD2 system in your Alfa Romeo, Giulia, or Stelvio. So basically the primary function of this is if you get a fault or a code, you're going to be able to read that code using your iPhone or Android phone. And you're going to be able to get to the bottom of, you know, what's going on. And if it's just a glitch, you'll be able to clear it straight from your phone. It'll be something super easy to do. I do want to make note, though, with the 2018 up, if you have a late model 2018 up, you're going to need what's called an SGW gate, which connects. Um, I'll be able to show you guys later in the video, but it allows you to basically... Uh, clear codes and do all that if you have a 2017 or an earlier production 2018 you don't need that you just plug this in connect it up to your iphone or android and you're good to go so i'll be showing you guys where to plug it in in a second um before i forget so we're getting closer to 500 subscribers and it's basically always been a dream of mine to be partners with youtube so if you guys could like and sub if any of this stuff helps you out or you find it relevant, I'm always making alpha content. So just throwing that out there, I would really appreciate it. Uh, I've appreciated the help that I've gotten building my channel so far from everybody, especially those that continue to watch my stuff. And um, I'll be here to answer questions in the comments and everything else. All right, everybody. So I'm going to show you guys how to plug this bad boy in. Basically, you're going to take it. Find your OBD2 port, match it up with the correct side, and simply plug it in. Now, as you can see in there, now it's lighting up, and we're going to go step on over to the uh, phone to show the next steps. But, just real quick, I really do want to show off that OEM spoiler again. It's a little bit dirty, but the car's looking really good overall. Now, once you have that device plugged in there, you're going to have all sorts of options and what app you can use. And you can even choose to use Multiscan if you want to. Um, they have a mobile version. You won't be able to do all the things, but you'll be able to see the fault codes, clear them. You'll be able to read all kinds of parameters. It, like, it's a giant list and I'll go through it on my iPhone. But from there, you're going to need to use your phone. And what I'm going to do now is screen record with my phone. All right, so the first step is to go to settings and then go to Wi-Fi. And you'll see the Wi-Fi OBD2 show up. And you're going to want to connect to that. Um, your internet's not going to be active while you're doing that. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to CarPro um, I, or Car Scanner. I have the Pro version. It's like 5 bucks, And you're going to want to hit Connect. And you'll let it do its thing. And you'll be soon connected. So to use the most important function on here, you're going to want to go to read codes and you're going to hit read. It's basically going to run through the ECU and check for codes and uh, see what's going on with your car. So you're going to end up in this menu where it's loading, loading. Um, while we're here, I do want to make note that you can still read codes in 2018 up. You just can't clear them without that SGW gate. So mine doesn't have any codes, but if you did, you'd be able to go to the next menu, which shows clear underneath. You'd be able to hit OK, and it would clear those codes for you. So if your car did have some codes, it's wise to write them down and then look them up on Google to see what they mean. We're going to go into the live data mode here. You'll also be able to see, for example, coolant temperature in real time and have a log of it. Um, you can go into your sensors and check everything from your engine coolant temperature, your oil temperature, your engine RPM, vehicle speed, oxygen sensors. Everything comprehensive is going to be in here. All your sensors are going to be here. And it's going to be really nice to be able to have this ability to see this. This can also calculate what expected horsepower can be, which is a really neat tool. It's not 100% accurate, but it's definitely um, close to what it would be if you put in all the parameters and then go for a drive. 
you can tell boost pressure, uh, wastegate position. It, it's super comprehensive. Um, all data that's here is important. Now, I guess what I also wanted to talk about, um, whenever you're choosing an app, make sure that you know you look at the cost effectiveness of that app. Um, I just used a basic car scanner app and it's still able to pull up all kinds of parameters. Um, I mean, you're talking, it even can try to calculate horsepower. I'm not gonna say that it's gonna be perfect, but you might get a close enough number. Um, definitely use these things to your advantage and they will definitely help you out whenever you get into a pinch and you don't know what's going on with your car. And the thing about it is, is a lot of people don't want to invest like $20 into this or whatever the amount of money it may be to buy the OBD2 scanner. But it's seriously a lot of money that you could save potentially in having to get your car towed for something that was just, you know, an electronic glitch that you can clear it. Because basically the principle behind this is this. If your car shows up with a check engine light or something of that sort, and you're able to clear it and it goes away and doesn't come back again, then it's something that wasn't that big of a deal to begin with. Maybe it was an electronic glitch. Now, if it comes back immediately after you clear it, that's when you have a problem. And if you're not mechanically inclined, then go ahead and go to the dealership. But I wanna have this video out there for people to understand that you don't need to always run to the dealer. If you have a simple tool like this and you can use your cell phone, it's a very, very easy process from connecting it to your car, to your phone, and then using this app to check what's going on. Uh, most of the time, if there is a problem, it's gonna give you a code. You can then take that code, type it in Google, and find out what it's talking about. That way, at least you know what's going on with your car before you take it to the dealer, or if you're a DIY person, you can just take care of the problem by ordering the part that needs to be replaced, whether it be a sensor or, you know, things of that nature. On that note, thanks everybody for watching this video. Hopefully you find it helpful. And congratulations to GLF username um, who won the free fr uh, Sprint air filter in my last giveaway. So hopefully that's made it to you by now. Um, thanks for everybody else who participated, and hopefully in the future we'll be able to do bigger giveaways. Um, I just want to say thank you, uh, everybody, for coming along on this journey, and hopefully we'll keep making videos and keep doing this alpha thing together.